is now my normal pleasure to invite, invite to the podium, podium our, speaker our speaker for this morning, morning delivering our message. our message. I know it's going to be something that is t um, scintillating, titillating, exciting, um, thought provoking. And so we ask that you open your minds, your hearts, and your consciousness and welcome practitioner Jeff Jennifer Livingston. Jennifer. Breathe with me. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Um, let me add my own words of welcome to all of you, and very especially to those of you sharing with us on our love stream here on Facebook Live. And I want to thank Sandy for setting the stage for this morning's service. Thank you, Sandro. You know, friends, since we have been spending a lot of time at home these past months, with many of us working from home, and I'm going to put the assistance on for the at-home workers, I have found myself spending far more time on the computer. And while there, I have come across some very interesting and useful invitations for webinars and workshops I've also signed up for a few newsletters or have been added to the mailing list from some of these webinars. Well, one such newsletter came to me recently and the article was titled, What's Your Pandemic Plan? In it, the author, who is a financial advisor, was questioning what it is that we have been intentionally focusing on, if anything, during this period which she referred to as a life transition, and one in which the whole world was going through at the same time. But as I contemplated the article and the importance of planning what it was I needed to do at this time, I recalled that for those persons on the front line or healthcare workers, an important part of their plan was to have their PPEs personal protective equipment. And I thought to myself, what's in my PPE? Which incidentally is the title of my talk this morning, what's in your PPE? The answer that came back to me in my contemplation had nothing to do with a particular form of equipment. But what was revealed was that for me, my PPE meant I should plan purposefully and efficiently, and more importantly, pray persistently but effectively to get me through these times. I want to share my thoughts with you on both of these aspects. First, by briefly identifying what purposeful planning is about while taking the time to examine what it means to pray persistently but effectively. When one talks of purposeful planning, depending on whom you're speaking with, and in the case of a financial advisor, like the article of which I referenced, purposeful planning is about having a plan as to how your finances, savings, or investments are working for you. Or you may have a plan as to how you want your estate handled so you would consult with an estate planning advisor. Or it may even be that you are reviewing your insurance portfolio, so you consult your insurance advisor. But in all of this, you have a specific plan as to how each portfolio is to be dealt with. And this, as a brief introduction, would be considered purposeful planning. It is something that all of us should take the time to review and ensure that these plans are working in our best interest. So I encourage you to seek the advice of the experts in this regard. Yet, even with the best laid plans and expert advisors, 
As spiritual mind practitioners, we never make a move without first communing with God. That infinite intelligence in prayer. For many of us, the act of praying is a daily ritual. And oftentimes, we are called to pray ongoing throughout the day just to make it through. <laughs> yes, these present times call for us to pray persistently. And we are reminded by Jesus, the master teacher, in 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 17, pray without ceasing, which metaphysically means never stop thinking affirmatively. I believe the words of this beautiful poem called ASAP, the author of which is unknown, expresses it best this way. There's work to do, deadlines to meet. You've got no time to spare, but as you hurry and scurry, always say a prayer. In the midst of family chaos, quality time is rare. Do your best, let God do the rest, and always say a prayer. It may seem like your worries are more than you can bear. Slow down, take a breath, and always say a prayer. God knows how stressful life is. He wants to ease your care, and he'll respond ASAP when you always say a prayer. My friends, the word of this poem, the words of this poem brought me to what? Dr. Ernest Holmes, the founder of this great teaching in his book entitled Prayer, How to Pray Effectively from the Science of Mind states, and I quote, prayer is not an act of overcoming God's reluctance, but should be an active acceptance of his highest willingness. Through prayer, we recognize a spiritual law that has always existed and put ourselves in alignment with it, end quote. So no matter what it is that we are going through at this time, we must remember that there is a place in us which lies open to the infinite. But when the spirit brings its gift, it can only give to us what we take. If we look at our present circumstances then, it is difficult for us to be believe in a God who cares more for one person than it does for another. And similarly, there can be no God who is kindly disposed one day and cruel the next. Dr. Holmes goes on to state, God is a universal presence, an impersonal observer, a divine and impartial giver, forever pouring himself into his creation, end quote. Therefore, prayer must be effective because it is what enables us to establish closer contact with the fountain of wisdom and we are less likely to be influenced by appearances around us, as stated in John 7, 24, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment, which means that we should not be phased by any manifested form, but we must judge according to the truth of things. When we pray aright, we set the law of the spirit in motion for us. Friends, prayer is essential not to the salvation of the soul, for our soul is never lost. But in our communion with the infinite, there is a vitality which is creative and which delivers to us our highest good. Dr. Holmes also states in this book on prayer, how to pray effectively from the science of mind, this conscious commingling of our thoughts with spirit is essential to the well-being of every part of us, end quote. Foremost, if not all who believe in God, we believe in prayer, that's right. But we must bear in mind that the prayers which are effective 
No matter whose prayers they may be, they are effective because they embody certain spirit universal principles which, when understood, can be consciously used. Here at the Temple of Light Center for Spiritual Living, as with all centers of spiritual living worldwide, we teach spiritual mind healing treatment or affirmative prayer. If you are not familiar with this method of praying, then, in the words of Reverend John, your assignment this week, should you choose to undertake it, is to speak with a practitioner or minister who can guide you as to how this is done, or give you a reminder if you already know how to do so. We have the tools that we can use, but we must use them effectively. Prayer is a spiritual process. As we are told in John 4 and verse 24, God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This is our true spiritual power, knowing that it is the Father within that doeth the work. When we become conscious of our oneness with universal good, a belief in lack and limitation tend to disappear and we no longer ask amiss, that is, supplicating as though God were not willing to bestow our good upon us. As in the case of this woman who, as she was praying, said, So far today, God, I haven't gossiped, haven't lost my temper, haven't been greedy, grumpy, selfish, or overindulgent. I am really grateful about that. But in a few minutes, God, I'm going to get out of bed, and from then on, I'm going to need a lot more help. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> so you see, even before your feet touch the ground in the mornings, you have to be praying. In my own experience, I grew up seeing my mother doing prayers first thing in the morning and the last thing at night, and routinely throughout the day, and in particular at midday. And she was never too busy to pray. In fact, we had a plaque on the wall that said, the family that prays together stays together. I don't know how many of you remember that plaque. And so for me, prayer is an integral part of my life. In the words of Jesus, the master teacher, if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. John 15, verse 7. This is one of the important laws governing prayer, that of abiding in the one, which means we should have no consciousness separate from God consciousness. In other words, there should be nothing in our thought which denies the presence and power of God. As such, let us say this affirmation together. I'll read it once, and then you can repeat after me. I am one with the consciousness of God. I'm divinely guided and directed in everything I need to do. So here goes. I am one with the consciousness of God. I'm divinely guided and directed in everything I need to do. Not convinced, so let's say it again. I am one with the consciousness of God. I'm divinely guided and directed in everything I need to do. I'm divinely guided and directed in everything I need to do. And so it is. My friends, Joel Goldsmith, in his book, The Heart of Mysticism, states, those who live and move and have their being in God consciousness, those who pray without ceasing, are the people who find 
that the Spirit of the Lord descends upon them, and through the Spirit of God, they are able to heal, they are able to comfort the mourner, they are able to supply the hungry, and they are able to bring joy to the sorry. He goes on to state, wherever God is entertained in consciousness, there is where the Spirit of the Lord is. End, end quote. To be persistent in prayer, prayer then is to is continue, continue treating and praying, and praying until, until consciousness, consciousness is changed, and from which change there inevitably follows a demonstration. If we are truly doing the work that will bring about a change in consciousness, then we can honestly ask ourselves, as Jamaican songwriter and musical entertainer, Chronic states in his 2017 song, Prayer, when was the last time you prayed? Give your thanks for health and strength. When was the last time you prayed? Ask God, protect you from the pagan. And that's a few words from this song. You can check it out on YouTube and hear the entire words. My friends, our prayer life is more than the 20 minutes we take every day to do our spiritual practice. That is our meditation or our daily prayers. When we are praying persistently but effectively, we pay attention to our thinking and our feelings as our thought patterns constantly create our experiences. We are certain that there is an infinite intelligence in the universe to which we may tune in that will guide and direct us. If we want to ensure that we receive the answers to our prayers, then we should be doing the following. And you can make a note of this. One, approach our prayer work with diligence. That's the first thing. Secondly, affirm our unity with that consciousness that knows what to do and how to do it. Next, ask with the conviction that it is already done. And fourth, accept and allow that feeling of accomplishment to permeate your entire being. And fifth, remember that you can only get what you expect. And on that last note, last Tuesday healing service, practitioner Carol Campbell gave a talk on that topic, what do you expect? If you missed it, then make some time to go and listen to it. My friends, the Dictionary of New Thought Terms by Dr. Ernest Holmes defines prayer as silent contemplation of the divine presence ever stimulating the thought, and the universal law of mind ever acting. Prayer is the act of becoming still and knowing that God, the creative wisdom and power, is moving in, upon, and through our affairs. So what's in your PPE? As you plan, purposefully and efficiently, remember to pray persistently but effectively. Namaste. Namaste.